Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Felicia and this here is my baby Kiara. On today's video, we're going to be doing her 8 month update. If you guys are new, please hit the subscribe button and turn your post notifications on. And if you guys already subscribed, welcome to this video and thank you for your support. So, let's get right into the video, shall we? So on these updates, I usually talk about her feeding, her sleeping, her milestones, and her growth and development. So we'll start off with her feeding. She is eating about the same as she did with seven months. I'm just going to put her on the ground because she's very fussy. <laughs> yes. She has been eating about five feedings a day. She has like her cereal in the morning and then like an hour later she'll have milk and she'll have eight ounces of milk and then a little bit later she'll have solids again so it goes it will go back and forth with solids and milk solids and milk until she goes to bed of course and for solids she's eating three to four tablespoons in one sitting and we usually give her fruits or vegetables for the first sitting and then for the second sitting she'll have her meat and sometimes we'll mix a vegetable with it because sometimes she doesn't want to eat her meat so we'll, we like to have a variety of foods in one meal just like a regular human would so we have gave her chunkier solids and that are pre-packaged from the store and she hasn't been able to consume those and she just chokes them and gags on them because they are chunky like for instance the soups that we give her that are in a bag they're chunky so we ha haven't been able to give those we have them stored and recovered for when she's ready but we have been giving her like more of a so um more of a liquidy form for the fruit and the beef is a beef broth so she can't really have anything chunky at the moment she doesn't have any teeth so on to her sleeping she is sleeping quite the same as last month she'll sleep from 8 30 or 9 until 8 or 8 30 in the morning so like 11 or 12 hour stretch and sometimes she'll wake up but sometimes she won't like for instance last night she woke up every like two hours for like a bum change or a nightmare or just didn't want to be alone i'm not sure why but she's been not sleeping that well and she's been having three hour naps in the day as well and a half an hour nap at the end of the day so in a three hour stretch i usually just work on some youtube stuff or i'll clean or cook get some me time you know so for her growth and development she hasn't started crawling yet or walking she walks with support like we hold on to her arms and she'll just walk a milestone that I say would say that she has um, accomplished is telling us what she wants and she's starting to nod her head no and when she wants something she'll just go <laughs> like open her mouth like that for instance like milk she'll open her mouth for milk or she wants a soother she'll open her mouth for a soother if you bring the soother close enough so she has uh, been communicating with us and letting us know what she wants and like whenever I try to give her milk she'll be like yes she wants it or she'll be like no i don't want it she puts up her hand now instead of just like that the head gesture she actually uses her hand like no i don't want that but yeah it's very easy to uh it's getting easier to know what she wants the older she gets another milestone is she looks for dropped objects when she's holding something she drops it like all the time <laughs> and she looks on the ground like oh did i drop that and then she kind of just forgets about it like very quickly moves on to something else but she does have a very very good attention span but she does tend to forget about things and then move on to something else she does react peekaboo like i put a blank i put a receiving blanket overhead and then, and then i remove it and go peekaboo or i go where's kiara where's kiara and then she'll have this huge smile on her face whenever i remove the uh, receiving blanket from her face and then I'll go there she is and then she gets this huge smile on her face don't you yes don't you <laughs> hi <laughs> yes. hello <laughs> and she loves looking at herself in the camera as well something else in growth and development is that she's been interacting more with her toys and playing more and on her for instance on her jolly jumper she has a variety of toys in front of her and she has been interacting with those more and learning how to do certain things like press press certain buttons and 
turn things, all the different activities on there. She's trying, starting to learn more about them. Last thing I want to cover is her dry skin. I've noticed that she's had dry skin since she was born and we've tried several different things. We've we recently bought this pack from Costco. It came in a three pack. <laughs> Sorry, I'm stopping at her. It came in a three pack of this brand here. And it is for to soothe and heal and protect. And it was for eczema, dry skin, sunburn, sunburns, diaper rash. So we use this for several things and it does seem to help her eczema right now. She's just playing with everything down on the floor if you're wondering why she keeps like bending down. Yes, yes. <laughs> so that is pretty much it for this update. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it and if you think this little cutie. Yes. If you think this little cutie is a cutie, give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.